All right, time to check out the latest update to H3VR. I am in the shooting range, so this isn't a meat miss update, but, uh, well, you know what, I think uh, Anton's kind of uh, spoiled it, but if you haven't seen the new guns and you don't want to see the new guns, then uh, you shouldn't have clicked this video. <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, if you've already seen the devlog, then you've already spoiled it for yourself. So basically, for those people not participating in Meet Miss, uh, the daily Meet Miss event, well, now's your chance to use the uh, guns that have been currently unlocked. Of course, there are uh, one, two, three, four of them, but there is one additional one that uh, I will point out. Uh, that Anton pointed out, but he didn't show on the video. But uh, again, spoilers, it's already too late for that if you already clicked this. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you already spoiled it for yourself, but uh, let me just move back to the center of my play space here. I love room scale. <laughs> well, moving forward. But anyways, so yeah, I mean, all the guns that have been found from day one to day four uh, are now in the item spawner. So let's uh, actually... Let's check this out. Okay, there's my camera set up. Now let's just turn this off right now. Oh, you know what? I'm going to disable the player body as well. Because we're not going to do third person or a camera. So, uh, hopefully this is recording, right? Yep, okay. All right, so, I, again, spoilers, but you already clicked the video, so it's a little too late for that. <laughs> yeah, that's on you. All right, so, day one's meat miss uh, gun was the... Uh, Let's see. Let's go to the pistols. This is a Derringer. It's called the Double Down Derringer. In real life, it's called the Double Tap, which I didn't think it was real at first, but, you know, somebody on the um, the internet told me that it is actually real. And, um, yeah, here it is. Let's go to the light source here so we can take a better look at it. It's basically a Derringer, so um, there's already two rounds in there, as you can see. But it is a real gun. Chambered in 9 by 19 millimeter. Uh, the double tap. This is the double down. Again, copyright reasons, licensing reasons. But uh, a target there at uh, three meters. Two shots. That's all you get. Two shots of nine millimeter. Let me uh, actually change targets here. There we go. <laughs> Pretty much a defense weapon, very small. It's got a nice, uh, well, not nice, but it's a very sleek, like uh, you know, rounded edges, so it doesn't get caught in anything when you're pulling it out. And shooting two rounds, but the double down. I I want to keep calling it the double tap, but again, that's that's the real world version. It's actually pretty fast once you get used to it. Oh. Just my problem is grabbing the bullets from the the belt and putting them in. <laughs> But it fires pretty fast, and it reloads pretty fast. So I'm pretty sure some of you speed shooters out there would probably uh, do better with this weapon. But yeah, pretty cool. I didn't really think it was going to be that cool, but it's actually pretty cool when I uh, actually play around with it. There's only one control, and that's to open the uh, the barrel. It is a Derringer, after all. There's no safety. There's no other control to it. So left on the uh, trackpad or joystick or whatever for the complex controls, regular. But yeah. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. All right. Let's reset the target here. Day two. Day two was the uh, IZH-18, which is this 
long barreled break action single shot shotgun. There go. It's got a round in there. And uh, it's pretty cool. I used a bit of it. Let's actually uh, let's go a little bit farther here. All right, put that shotgun shell in there. It's Russian. Uh, is is mash? <laughs> How do you pronounce that? I don't really know because I'm not Russian. Sorry. Ismash. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> that's a stereotypical Russian accent. No, that's it's very offensive. Ismash. I sound like uh, what's his name? Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, uh, YouTuber. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, what's his name? Trust me, uh, the, the name will come to me when uh, uh, at random. It was, you know, oh god, what's his name? Can't remember. But I just want to keep shooting this shotgun. All right, one more shot, and then uh, if I can't remember the name, I'll just drop it. Oh, God. I Usually, I would remember, right? But I can't remember his name. I know his real name, right? It was FPS Kyle, right? Oh, my goodness. Uh, whatever. You know what? I know somebody will tell me in the comments, and yeah, that's fine, because that's after the video's done. Oh my goodness. Now it's going to bug me. It's going to bug me for a long time. I'll, 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 I'll stop the video, I'll take the headset off, and I'll be like, oh, that's his name. Right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the IZH-18, very nice uh, Russian... Break action, single shot, shotgun. See down the barrel there. Ooh, nice. So not many controls to it. Uh, I think uh, up on the trackpad opens up the uh, action. So yeah, just press up on the trackpad. Down, left, right, nothing's happening. So uh, again, I don't know much about the real world properties of this weapon. Some people have been saying that there's like a... Uh, a button here or something like that. I, like, I, I'm not really too familiar with uh, most Russian weapons. Uh, but uh, yeah, but that's not the only one. Anton mentioned that he did add a, a shorter, cut-down version of the IZH-18, which is right here. There you go. Hope you guys can see that. Very uh, sawed off. Obviously, but it still has the stock. Uh, there you go. Oop, there it's loaded. <laughs> I should point that down range. But it works as the it works uh, the same way as the regular IZH-18, except it's shorter. Come on, there we go. And I'm not going to shoot this one too much because I've been shooting a lot with the actual IZH. Ah, very easy to shoot. Very nice. But it is pretty cool. I actually like the shorter version too. You know? Click. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. So, oh, you know what? I should be doing... All right, so for the uh, double down Derringer, let me see if I can add some stuff to it. I don't think so, but again, that could have been just like an item spawner thing, you know, since the guns weren't in the item spawner, <clears throat> they probably couldn't use attachments, but again, I don't really know. So now I don't think this can use uh, barrel attachments because I mean, it's got two barrels, but what about a stock? Can we put a stock on this thing? Probably not. No, we can't, which is okay. It's fine. It's fine the way it is. It's beautiful the way you are. 
Uh, so the IZH-18, which is currently empty right now, thank goodness. Uh, let's see. Muzzle devices, I don't think it works. But we will try. Let's go out. Let's get ourselves a suppressor here. Oh, Ray, no. So no suppressor, and this one has a stock. Oh, I don't know why I threw it away. Oh, let me spawn another one here. <laughs> no suppressor. Okay. So I'm going to have to do that with the uh, last two guns that I have here. Okay. So that was day two. The uh, IZH-18 is mash, mechanical, plant, whatever, in Russia. <laughs> Again, I don't know the specifics. Day three is the Walther P5 Compact. Very nice looking gun. Let's look at it in the light there. Ooh. I like the, uh, uh, like I said, I like the wood grips. I don't know if these are actually wood, though. Because, you know, it was the 1980s? Was this gun released in the 1980s? I think it was. I'm not too familiar with the uh, P5 Compact, but, uh, again, it might be plastic, uh, you know, kind of wood grips, fake. Or it might be real. I don't know. But, you know, Walther. Pretty cool. All right, let's shoot this thing off. And you can finally spawn, uh, lock the mags. So, <laughs> you don't have to worry about ammo this time. All right, pretty cool. Uh, as for controls, down is to eject the mag. Mm, there's nothing else. Which, uh, if I remember correctly, Anton said that this is not a safety. This is a slide lock slash decocker. I'm trying to remember what he, he said exactly. It was in a post. I don't know which one it was, but... Yeah, see, it's a slide lock lever. See. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you can actually lock the slide back. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if anybody knows this, but uh, some people don't know it. But uh, you basically grab the slide and you press left and up on the... Uh, you press left slide up to lock the uh, slide. But, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, that magazine's empty, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why I inserted an empty mag in there. Oops. All right, so let's see if uh, attachments can work. Obviously, we'll try the uh, stock. Yes, it does. Now extend the stock. Ooh, very nice. Uh, suppressor. Let's see what a suppressor would be like. Oh, there go. Hey, that works. So that means we can have... Where are the rail adapters? Oh, here we go. Uh, what would look good on this thing? Square? You want square? No. Oh, that's still too big. Well, that's definitely too big. That's large. It's chunk. The uh, this one. Hmm, that's pretty cool. And then we'll put a suppressor at the end there. A monstrosity of a weapon we can make. And let's put a uh, reflex sight. Let's do a red dot compact. Hmm. What would go well with this? Well, it doesn't really look that good, anyways, because I've added all this other stuff to it. The gun looks fine, it's just all the accessories look pretty. Uh, Let's, uh, you know what, let's do this. <laughs> let's block that, uh... There we go. Beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. Look at it. It's so nice. Can I grab this? Oh, I can. Whoa. Oh, no. I ran out of magazines. I forgot to spawn lock. 
or uh, I accidentally uh, unspawn locked it. Well, uh, well, you know what? I could reload this, uh, but you know what? Let's just move on. Again, the uh, the P5 compact based off of a Walther P5 compact. Pretty cool. Click. All right. And lastly, the last weapon uh, for this week's Meet Miss is the Thunder, right? The TA Thunder. Um, hold on just a second. Let me actually pull something up here because I completely forgot the name. The Triple Action Thunder. There we go. That's what the TA stands for. But this is... Uh, you know, if you don't believe it, this is an actual thing. And uh, like I said, this was uh, this was memed a lot in H3VR, the, the H3VR community. They wanted this thing for a long time. And uh, Anton decided to give us uh, what they wanted for Meatmas. Look at this thing. Looks just so funky. Look at that. It's crazy looking. Looks like a well, like a ray gun. Look at that. That's crazy. Of course, it fires 50 BMG, which uh, you can pull out of here. That makes up a lot of the gun. I wonder if they could just shift that forward, though. <laughs> no, that'd be crazy. Then the gun had to... Well, you know, whatever. But, yeah, you can stick the, the uh, round in there. And uh, what I found out, I didn't know about this, you can actually flip the uh, thing closed... That is pretty cool, I didn't know. I just keep using the uh, trackpad. Open, close. Which is trackpad right, I believe. Or left, no, it's left. Sorry, I get confused, I'm left-handed, so. This is right for me, this is left, I don't know why, but. <laughs> but yeah, trackpad left, and it's got some sights on there, you can't really see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the flipping is not really good for left-handed people, but if you're right-handed, you know, pretty cool. Well, maybe, actually, hold on. I just need to practice it. Oh, there we go. Oop. Close it. Oop. Close it. Boom. But yeah, the Triple Action Thunder, or the TA Thunder, as it's known in H3VR. But it is a crazy looking thing. And actually, you can add attachments to this stuff. So, <clears throat> obviously, you can see the uh, the Picatinny rail at the top there. So, And you saw when I was playing, I put like a red dot on there. But there are also stock points... Over here, not over here, because that's where the bullets go. But it's on the, uh, the grip there. Uh, let's go with a uh, wooden stock. Bergman? Let's see if this works. Ooh, no, no, no. Let's not do that one. The color's off. We gotta, you know, accessorize. Make sure it matches. It's a little too dark. Well, I actually kind of like that. I might take the Mauser stock. It's a little too dark, but that's okay. Uger artillery. Mm, I'm not a fan of the bend. <laughs> and this one is a little too dark as well. I kind of like the uh, Mauser stock. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we can put a stock and we can also put a um, muzzle attachment if I remember correctly. Let me actually try here. Yes, you can, even though it's kind of weird, but, uh, wait, hold on. Can you put a suppressor on this thing? No, right? I don't think you can, but you can. Oh, that's kind of weird, though, since this is a, um, I guess a compensator, right? It's got, like, compensator cuts. The gas will vent out the side, kind of negating the purpose of a suppressor, but whatever, doesn't matter. All right. Actually, 
I'm going to put a, a better suppressor on this thing. Better subjectively. Oh yeah, there we go. Get this bad boy on there. There we go, that's a better suppressor. <laughs> that's what a scope on this thing as well. Oh, I need a bipod, don't I? Well, okay, that was a dumb idea. Uh, rail adapter. Do I want a four-way? Or I could use this. It's about the right size, right? Yeah. All right, and, and then do we have a square. This is a square-looking thing, right? So we'll need a square-looking... Uh, suppressor. Oh, the Chewungus. Chewungus. Chew, no. <laughs> the Chewu. Chewungus. That's how you pronounce it. Chewungus. No, it, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Um, properly. Oh. No. No, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a shroud. Uh, let's see. Salvo? Oh, the Quadrant. That might, might be pretty cool. No, it's not big enough. Salvo might. The operator, I think, would be the optimum one. There is an operator here. Oh, oh. It's the operator. There it is. This one is... Uh, no, this one. There we go. Okay. This one kind of matches. Let's see. Let's grab ourselves a bipod. Attachable bipod A. Stick that on the uh, bottom here. Oh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Now we just need a scope. Grab ourselves a scope. Oh, well, let's see. 8 by 32. 3 by 12? We're not going to be going too far. I should have uh, went to the uh, sniper range, but... Uh, 8 by 32... No, 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 no. 3 by 12. Okay. There we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I, uh, this uh, this could be a good time to actually monitor something. Grab this. Just want to make sure that when I'm looking down the scope here, hopefully uh, when... I'm playing, I'll edit this, I might need to loosen or increase the FOV so that my face doesn't go through the scope. I've been having that problem for a long time recording these videos. I think 65 FOV is good. I, I won't see until I actually, wait, you know, hold on. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, 12 magnification. Actually, let's go 9999 meters, which is 30 meters here. Where are you? There you are. Eh, that looks good. Maybe, wait, hold on. 55. That was a weird problem I had before. Let me just, uh, oops, try something here. Sorry, this is going to take uh, a little bit of time here. Uh, bolt action, uh, the Sako. Where is the Sako? That's the one I had last time. 8 by 32, right? So y'all will probably... That's so weird. It, it's working now, but when I was playing in the um, the mode, my face would actually go... Huh. That's weird. Right? Remember in the videos that I've uploaded? Like, my my head would go past. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. That was bipodded, right? Oh, that might be the reason, right? Hold on. I need bipod. Give me a bipod. Attachment. Grip bipod. This one, right? It was this one. Stuck this on the front. Right, put this on there. 
Oh, yeah, I think that's the problem. When I'm bipoded. Oh. Mm. Let's just put that there for right now. <laughs> I know it's all crazy looking here, but right, let's put that. So when I'm bipoded, yeah, see, I'm going through. So I need to remember, or at least increase the FOV. Oh, no, that's not going to. All right, so that's my problem right there. I just need to not look through the scope. Which, in real life, probably, this would probably give me a black eye. I know I shouldn't do this. But I, sh I shouldn't do this. Because that would probably give me a black eye. But, uh, yeah, so a comfortable distance bipoded would be like this. I do have that problem. I forget sometimes. All right, so where were we? Okay. Let's actually move this down here. Get Get this out of the way. All right. Well, oh yeah, that's right. I need to actually put a bullet in this thing. All right, yeah, well. Obviously, a headshot. Ah, kind of dropped low there, huh? Might have to adjust the uh, elevation. But you get the idea. You can turn this into a long-range sniper rifle. If you so choose. That is the uh, TA Thunder. The Triple Action Thunder. <laughs> Firing at one-handed. Whoops. That recoil, man, that's crazy. Oh, you know, why, why do I have this on? I want to hear the gun. This thing is pretty good in terms of sound. And of course, uh, to simulate the outside, outside open, little audio options panel here. Or forest, let's try forest. Oop, we'll poop out that bullet. A little stuck there, you know. Ooh, man, that sound. That sound is good. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Maybe I need to adjust the uh, volume on the recording. Just that nice crack, that thunder. Uh, outside open. Was that the one I used, or outside enclosed? A lot of bounce in this one, I think. Sort of in a canyon. Outside open. Yeah, forest is the way to go. That's a good sound right there. <laughs> this truly is the thunder. That one, not so much, but this one. One more for the road before I uh, stop, because there's not that much content for this. It just uh, dropped the uh, meat miss guns for everybody to use. 
I'm still on the meat miss branch, by the way. So uh, midnight uh, Pacific Standard Time is the next update for meat miss, which includes day five. We've only got day four, one through four guns here. So one, uh, two, three, four. We have a, another gun coming tonight or this afternoon or wherever you're living right now, whatever time zone you're in. But there is going to be an update for Meat Miss. Oh, that sound is just so good. So basically, yep, we're going to get another gun. Oh, I never get tired of hearing that. That crack. Truly the sound of thunder. So yeah, uh, basically uh, in a couple of hours, let's see, wait, right now for me, it is um, maybe five hours from now, if I, uh, if I get my math right, five hours, we'll have another update for H3VR. Wait, hold on. And uh, yeah, one more, one more shot here. Let's actually go bipoded. Headshot. But uh, yeah, that's uh, about it for now. And I will see you guys next time.